In this video tutorial, we illustrate conditional statements in Excel VBA. There are primarily two, condition, uh, two conditional statements in VBA, if then else statements and select case statement. In both of these, one or more conditions are evaluated and a block of code is executed depending on the result of the evaluation. We are presently discussing the if then else statements. It executes a block of code or statements if the specified condition is met. We can have a multiple line syntax or we can also have a single line syntax which will be illustrated later. We are currently viewing the syntax for multiple line statements. This is also referred as the else if structure. In case of multiple line syntax, the first line should have only the if statement. This mentions the specifies the condition which is an expression which could be numeric or string. It evaluates to true or false. A null condition is equated to false and it is necessary to specify a condition here. If the condition evaluates to true, then one or more statements here, which is a block of code, will get executed. If statements are not specified here and the condition evalu evaluates to true, then no code will be executed. We can optionally use else if clauses to test for multiple conditions. Here we have two else if clauses here. If else if is present, then else if condition is necessary to specify. Else if condition is an expression which could be numeric or string and which will also evaluate to true or false. A null else if condition is equated to false. And as mentioned, if it is necessary to specify this condition if else if is present. If the else if condition evaluates to true, then one or more statements which are mentioned here as else if statements will get executed. And if else if statements are not specified, then no code will be executed. Similarly for the next else if clause. It may also be noted that the condition here in the if statement, the first line and the else if conditions, these are tested in the order they are mentioned. And if any one of these evaluates to true, then its respective statement will get executed. So if the first condition evaluates to true, then this block of statements get executed. And in this case, no subsequent condition is tested thereafter. So if we have the else if condition one, which evaluates to true, then the subsequent else if conditions will not be evaluated. If all the above conditions here, the condition and the else if conditions, they evaluate to false, then else comes into play and else statements, which are again a set of statements or a block of code will get executed. So if everything above all the statements or else uh, uh, if all the conditions and else if conditions evaluate to false, then else statements are executed. And obviously if else statements are not specified, then no code will execute it in that case. The end if keywords are used to terminate the if and else block. So we have just illustrated the else if structure. Now we come to the multiple if then statements. 
you can specify multiple if then statements so these are blocks separate blocks of if then statements alternatively to the else if structure but using multiple if then statements is not a very efficient method because in this case the VBA code will run through each of the if then blocks even after encountering a true condition so if a true condition is encountered in the first if then block then its associated statements are executed but the subsequent if then blocks are also evaluated again whereas and in an else if structure all subsequent conditions are skipped after encounter, encountering a true condition so in this sense else if structure is faster you can also do nesting here you can nest if then else block of statements within each other and also with the select case statement and with VPL loops either as inner or outer loop without any limit. If you remember in spreadsheet functions Excel 2003 only allows 7 levels of nesting of functions while Excel 2007 allows up to 64. Now let's go to the visual basic editor and we will run through the VBA codes illustrating these. So let's go to the standard module 1. This has two subs. The first one illustrates the else if structure. The second one illustrates the multiple if then statements. And as mentioned ex earlier, else if structure in, in an else if structure, all subsequent conditions are skipped after encountering a true condition. We start with the dim statement. Whereas the variable SNG marks is declared as a single data type. In the if statement, in this the condition, if marks are greater than or equal to 80, this set of statements or code is executed. So excellent is returned in the message box. If marks are equal to or greater than 60 but less than 80, good is returned. If marks are greater than or equal to 40 and less than 60, average is returned. And if all these three conditions evaluate to false, else will come into play which will cover marks less than 40, in which case poor is returned. So this is how we use the else if structure. I am pressing F5 from my keyboard which will execute the sub. And because the value 60 has been assigned to the marks variable, this else if condition evaluate will evaluate to true where marks greater than or equal to 60 but less than 80 and good will be returned and no sub subsequent condition is evaluated. So let me press F5 to you see good being returned in the message box. Now let's see similarly we execute multiple if then statements. We start with a dim statement. We have multiple if then blocks. So in the first block the condition which is evaluated as if marks are greater than or equal to 80. The second block has the condition where marks are greater than or equal to 60 but less than 80 then good is returned. In the third block if marks are greater than or equal to 40 but less than 60 average is returned and in the fourth block if marks are less than 40 poor is returned. In this case because the value 60 is again assigned to the marks variable the second if then block will be executed and good will be returned because the condition in the second block evaluates to true and after this even the subsequent conditions are evaluated because the code will execute all the blocks 
even after encountering a true condition. So let us press F5 on the keyboard and you have good being returned because the second block, the condition mentioned in the second block evaluates to true. So this is the difference but multiple if then statements are not very efficient. Now let's go to the mo standard module 2 where we will illustrate the nesting. Here we have if then else statements nested within the for next loop. We will accept 5 integers from user and add the even numbers and odd numbers separately. We start with the dim statements. We have the for next loop which will loop 5 times here 1 to 5 and in each loop we will evaluate if the each loop we will accept a number in the input box and evaluate if the number accepted is even. So number divided by 2 if the remainder is 0 it will be an even number. So the sum of previous even numbers here is added to this even number in the input box and if the else will cover odd numbers so the sum of the previous odd numbers are added to the odd number if this input box number is odd so this is done for each number five times so we can accept five numbers evaluate each number for being even or odd and if even we add the even numbers and if odd we add the odd numbers separately. We finally return the sum of even numbers and the sum of odd numbers. Now let us press F5, displays the first input box, let's enter 1, second input box, let's enter 2, 3, 4, five and now the sum of even numbers is displayed first which is six so two and four were the two even numbers so two plus four is equal to six and that, then the sum of odd numbers is is displayed one plus three plus five there were three odd numbers so one plus three plus five is nine so the sum of odd numbers is displayed so this is how we do the nesting for if then else statements